Yo, 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 what's good everybody? It's your boy Brandon, also known as the Georgia Picker. And if you guys are returning viewers, I appreciate you guys being here. But if you guys are new, Brandon, also known as Georgia Picker. And uh, we go out there to estate sales, we do abandoned storage units, we do garage sales, to kind of do a little bit of everything. We're very versatile in what we do. And basically we just go out there, we find items to flip online for a profit. And uh, I think we do a pretty good job at it. Been doing it full time for three years now, if you guys can believe that or not. Um, I'm 30 years old, so we still got... A lot to learn, a lot of time left on on, pl on planet Earth, right? <laughs> you got a lot of time to, to really invest in more time in doing this. So like I said, I have a true passion for this. Hopefully you guys do uh, see that in my videos because it does bring me some pride and joy in what I do in life. Um, Between Monday and Tuesday, today's Tuesday, 7.08 p.m. And uh, between Monday and Tuesday, we actually have some pretty decent sales. So we have 18 items going out for $844.53. Not gonna rant anymore. Let's go ahead and get to it. All right, this is a lot of the stuff that we have pulled at the moment, and yeah, matter of fact, I think on Sunday, so two days ago, I listed this, that, this, this, and this, and they all sold within a day or two. Pretty cool stuff. Let's go and start off here with this thing right here. This is called a Zeiss, Zeiss, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Z-E-I-S-S -S Icon, and this is a filter for like a camera. This is from one of the 10 by 30 units, and it sold for $35 plus shipping. Diecast uh, Monster Truck Hot Wheels, and uh, this is also from one of the 10 by 30 units. Sold, oh wait, actually this is called Super Trucker. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Craftsman little uh, chisel here, model number on this is... 42974WF. This is also from one of the 10x30 units. Sold for $5 plus shipping. Vintage Justin Boots. I think we found this at a yard sale for $10. I'm pretty sure. Uh, they are men's and they sold for $50 bucks plus shipping. Xbox 360 uh, Guitar Hero Guitar does not have the breakaway cable, but it does have everything else. And it does have some yellowing from the stickers we did disclose all that and it still sold for $75 plus shipping. Something that was from the Jacksonville storage unit. This R Zone gameplay cartridge Batman and Robin sold very very quick uh, from 1997 sold for $30 plus shipping. All right the Super Mario 64 game is something that I picked up over this past Saturday. If you guys remember that first yard sale I went to found some Nintendo 64 stuff there was Super Mario 64. I actually looked at my copy and this copy I cleaned up uh, or my copy and then the copy that I found. I cleaned up the one that I found, compared them, and realized the one that I picked up was actually in a little bit better condition than the one that was in my own collection. So I cleaned off the, the new one, put it in my collection, and then this one I decided to sell. Uh, so Super Mario 64 sold for $40 plus shipping. Xbox 360 wireless guitar uh, for the Guitar Hero as well. This one was also over there in my death pile. Finally got it listed and it sold pretty quick for $60 plus shipping. If you guys remember this Saturday, we got this uh, Dymo uh, label maker. And it has all the uh, all the power up cables as well as two things of Dymo address labels. So we ended up getting this whole thing for $5 and this right here sold again extremely quick for $50 plus shipping. All right, guys, I want to bring you guys down here real quick to show you the puppies. So we just relax and daddy. You get my mish mish. Yeah, so we haven't had any more episodes as far as mommy and daddy knows, right? There you go. Yeah, something on your head. What are you doing, big man? You know, I read a uh, article about men pins. So men pins were actually uh, breeded before the normal Dobermans. The men pin and Dobermans are not the same species by no means, but they kind of look alike. Um, and Maximus kind were breeded for like vermin you know rats and bunnies and stuff like that underneath sheds so it's pretty cool but they said the men pin will basically be the class clown of the classroom and i didn't know that and i always wonder why he's so silly and that makes perfect sense because he's a little class clown and then run yes sir and then look at my baby right here sleeping with her doggy you can hide everybody she's like i don't understand what you're doing daddy but i love you she's my baby piper's just an innocent puppy yeah i'm talking about you all right, sorry. Let's go down to the garage. All right, guys, coming into L1, we have a action figure going out. That's Captain Kirk, and we're looking for Mr. Spock. So yeah, this is from one of the uh, or from the Jacksonville storage units that we recently cleaned out. 
it does have some wear issues as you guys can see there but it did sell for twenty dollars plus shipping all right then we got three items to pull to one buyer also a viewer and also a friend liz aka the nerdy picker if you guys have never watched her youtube channel for reselling she also has other uh, youtube channels as well um but uh, her reselling youtube channel is called the nerdy picker highly recommend checking her out she's a she's a pretty cool chick and um she bought three things from me so let's go ahead and pull those items down all right guys first things first is going to be this star wars monopoly uh board game it, it does have some some issues with the plastic but it is from the jacksonville storage unit so this item right here ended up selling for 25 dollars plus shipping all right then the next thing that she ended up getting is this uh first contact star trek lieutenant commander data and this one right here sold for ten dollars and then last but not least some of these totes will get a little heavier as you guys can see there's a ton of stuff in here and i think this is really cool and it's going to be this special edition uno star trek uno card game pretty cool brand new sealed also from the jacksonville storage unit so all three of these are from that uh unit and um this one right here ended up selling for 20 dollars. so you figure 20 plus 10 that's 30 plus 25 that's 55 dollars worth of items plus shipping and we will refund the shipping difference so nerdy picker liz we appreciate you and uh hopefully this gets to you safe and sound i'll do my best to make sure it all looks good and um yeah just shout out to nerdy picker thank you guys or thank you so much for that and um yeah let's keep it rolling all right pretty cool little sell if we can find it and let's see yeah here it is right here so inside of this brown little case is a boy scouts of america um utensil set so it has a uh, has the case the spoon the knife and the fork as well as a bottle opener pretty cool this is from one of the 10 by 30 units and it did sell for 15 bucks plus shipping all right, right here in k2 is going to be this lebron james fleer ultra card but it's like a hummer h2 diecast vehicle pretty cool from the jacksonville storage unit sold for 50 bucks plus shipping all right from d5 it's going to be this pokeball with the pokemon sand slash if you guys don't know old school pokemon that is his name this is from one of the 10 by 30 units and this thing right here sold internationally for 10 dollars plus shipping right here conveniently uh knocked over <laughs> it's going to be the pretender the complete fourth season this is from the uh jacksonville storage unit sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right and then that 275 dollars bill that i did um we already sold one of these figures for 175 and i think this is the figure that actually sold right here so this is ice storm brooklyn action figure yes so if you guys know like i said that 275 dollars deal that i did i already sold one item for 150 um so we're not in the green yet even after this deal or after this sale we're not in the green yet however two of them have sold in less than a week of us listing them so pretty good numbers um this ice storm brooklyn right here sold for 75 dollars plus shipping also again i want to give a quick little shout out to miss chris thank you so much for hooking up that deal all right right here i think this is the last thing going on it's going to be this manix first season dvd set does not go for much but it is from the jacksonville unit sold for three dollars plus shipping all right that's it it's everything going out um i don't think there's anything to update you guys on other than we have been listing a ton we have not gotten to the card yet uh that's another reasoning why i want to talk about something just real quick won't take up too much more of y'all's time for this part uh, portion of the video um but we're trying to get to the cards we're really trying but it's so hard when we have our everyday lives i've been going to the gym he has a you know he works for a trucking company um you know etc 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 there's so much stuff going on we will get to the cards and whenever we do we i 100 I promise you guys we will do an update on the card video um or a video for the cards i promise uh, as well as comics if there's anything crazy and then what we might end up doing is trying to figure it out might try to sell it locally as a bulk deal um maybe reach out to some some of you guys if you guys are interested um also to my deal whatnot we don't really know um at this point in time but i will give you guys an update that's gonna be it for today we'll see you guys thursday night with what's sold all right guys check it out man it's thursday and we have a little bit of packages going out um today is april 27th <laughs> and uh not that many sales per se but definitely going up instead of going down which is good uh so between wednesday and thursday we have sold 16 items going out for 532 dollars and 98 cents so definitely not a bad couple of days a little still a little, i mean it's better than than uh 
the past few weeks so i can't really complain so um yeah let's go ahead and get it started no delay let's just see what we got behind me all right there's a little bit of stuff that we have pulled the rest of it's gonna be down in the garage you guys know how this system works let's go ahead and start it off monster jam clydesdale hot wheels uh truck from one of the 10 by 30 units and it sold for ten dollars plus shipping we got these uh ultima military combat boots um from my secret honey hole we got them for ten dollars and they ended up selling for thirty dollars plus shipping we had this in my death pile just recently got that listed as well as a wireless black one well two wireless black ones and then two of the white ones the other white one already sold we already sold a wireless one and then this is the last white one that i have currently and this one right here is actually very clean and it sold for eighty dollars plus shipping all right then this little tupperware canister um now i don't openly go out there to find tupperware type stuff i will occasionally um, because there's certain things that will sell good in the Tupperware brand. This is from one of the 10 by 30 units, and I just thought it was kind of unique. And I was like, you know what, it might not go for a whole lot, but I'm willing to hold on to this because it's not glass, it's like hard plastic. Um, but it did sell for eight dollars plus shipping. You guys remember from that estate sale, um, last Friday, uh, we got this Masters American Needle hat. I think we got the hats for a dollar a piece. We paid 145 dollars for everything at that estate sale. The Sonos machine um, already sold for 150 plus a book that sold for 10 So we're already in the green on that deal. So this hat right here is pure profit. It sold for $20 plus shipping. From one of the 10 by 30 units, this is a 1972 Aviva Snoopy with Woodstock on a skateboard toy from the 70s. Pretty old. Sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, guys, we made it to the garage. And if you guys remember the estate sale we went to last Friday, and we are looking for a bible and we end up getting these bibles for like i want to say like a dollar a piece or so um and this is the one that ended up selling and it's this life application study bible new international version zondervan like i said i think we got it for a dollar and it sold in exactly one week uh for twenty dollars plus shipping Speaking of Bibles, I didn't even realize that this actually sold, but we actually sold this other Bible right here. That was also from the estate sale from last Friday. This one's called Keyword Study Bible English Standard Version AMG Publishers. Very clean. As you guys can see there, very, very clean. Um, this is also from that estate sale. Paid like a dollar for it. Sold for $39.25 plus shipping. All right, right here in... E6, I think this is the one that actually sold. Yes, Daffy Duck. So this is from one of the 10 by 30 units. And Daffy, uh, looks like he's on an Acme launcher or something. I'm not too sure. It is from the year 2003, so it's technically vintage this year. From one of the 10 by 30 units, sold for 17 bucks plus shipping. All right, right here in G4, we got this item and a whole bunch of stuff and like an online auction, just kind of like a throw in, but decided to sell it and you know, it had an okay sell through rate. This uh, Drain King unclogs the drains. Brand new, sold for $8 plus shipping. All right, you guys, so right here in D3, I think these are the ones that sold. This should be the Jet Blue version and i believe this is it so this is from one of the 10 by 30 units got a whole bunch of these speedo goggles all in d3 there's like a bunch of them first one i've actually sold and <laughs> they've been listed for a few months now sold for five dollars plus shipping all right so this next item something i've had for a very long time it's going to be this item right here all right so this right here is a uh a muzzle for a dog but it's like a training muzzle i guess um I want to say we got this for six dollars at friendly marketplace a long time ago probably a year ago uh the other one sold pretty quick this one took a little while to sell sold for 15 bucks plus shipping all right right here in c1 i think i think this is the one that sold let me see yes this is the one that sold this is from the jacksonville storage unit and it is a micro machines uh, action fleet new hope encounter okay cool uh, this right here sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. Um, yeah, we will pull that order while we're here as well. And matter of fact, we actually got another sale uh, as well that we're also going to pull. It was um, something from the Jacksonville storage unit as well. So um, we're not going to up the price of how much we sold. It's just, you know, it is what it is. We're already out here pulling. So anytime I do get sales out here, I'll just go ahead and pull them. Might as well. Uh, but the next item going out is going to be in D3. And we're looking for this thing right here. 
this uh, Lamax little pumpkin string lights. This is from that estate sale uh, where we found all the Lamax stuff. We're already well, 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 well in the green on that deal. So this is pure profit. This right here sold for $10 plus shipping. All right, something that we got at an estate sale as well. I believe it was the estate sale at uh, or on uh, New Year's. <laughs> it was January 1st of this year. Um, and just a few things that we found in like the shed. And very, I mean, I'm very, very surprised that this thing has some value. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna put it right, see if we can push this thing back right here. Here we go. Um, so it's this APC battery backups, 600 or 360 watts. I'm not too sure what makes this one particularly special, but um, one USB seven outlets. It's brand new open box. The person never used it. Still has like the sticker on it and everything. Um, we paid, I think, 240 for everything, and I think we walked away out of there with, I want to say a thousand dollars worth of stuff. I could be wrong on that. Um, but this thing right here ended up selling for $50 plus shipping. They paid $75 all in on that thing right there. All right, right here in C4, we actually sold this thing right here. So let me tell you the story behind this. So whenever me and Harley were going through the Jacksonville storage unit, we found this like swivel job of the hut toy that we actually already sold. I think it sold for like $30 plus shipping, I think. Um, and it already sold. So by the time we found this thing, uh it was too late for the context uh the job of the hut went with this thing um it's called job of the hut place at throne base and i guess it's like it opens up kind of see like rats and lizards and whatever else is in their bones <laughs> so job of the hut would sit on top of this and we didn't know that at the time uh until we found it because it was like our third day going back I already had the job of the hut listed you guys understand the picture that I'm getting at. So we decided to sell it individually, and this thing right here sold for $40 plus shipping. All right, then also from C4, the last, or that item that just came in, the job of the hut thing is actually what sold um, before I came out here, and then I believe this is the, the item that just came in. And this is that uh, Coleco Rambo 50 cal machine gun. We, I think we have a little bit more of these. Um, this is from the Jacksonville storage unit as well, and it sold for $10 plus shipping, and it is going international all right now that's going to be it for today or yesterday and today we will see you guys sunday night with what sold and hopefully the sales stay strong see you guys in a sec so check it out man it is the end of another week um it's been kind of it's kind of kind of wild uh for the past few days um you know we went garage sale and then we did the private pick with mr tim today i'm not sure if that video has been aired or not if not it should be aired after this video uh but yeah we did our our uh our last, well, essentially our last private pick with Mr. Tim up until he can buy more units and this, that, and the other. The update on him is that uh, his heart is doing better with the medication and that type of stuff, so that's always a good thing uh, to hear. Um, and it was good to see him again, so that was pretty fun. Uh, we did that this morning, got a whole bunch of inventory. Again, it's gonna be like another one of those things where we get a whole bunch of inventory, we gotta get to work, the listing, and, uh, and then plus everything I found over the weekend on Saturday, plus we're still dealing with the with the stuff in the Jacksonville unit on top of all those books and stuff that I still have to go through at my storage unit. On top of that, we still have inventory from the two 10 by 30 units from last year. So I'm trying, I, I really am trying, man. <laughs> I am trying so bad, uh, but you know, it, it is what it is. But anyways, it is Sunday, 8.36 at night, and we have 18 packages going out for $735.90. Let's go see what I got pulled behind me. All right, guys, so this is a little bit that we have pulled. The rest of the stuff's going to be down in the garage. First things first is going to be this heart uh, reciprocating saw. There is no battery or anything like that. It's just the tool itself. Got this in an online auction with those two heart battery and the battery chargers. <sighs> Sorry, I had to sneeze for a sec. And then we had uh, a couple, like I think one or two other things from that entire haul. We already well, well, well in the green. Um, this heart reciprocating saw sold for $25 plus shipping. From one of the 10 by 30 units, we have this 3 8 uh, Mac XU126 3 8 swivel socket sold for $5 plus shipping. All right, then we got this uh, Ping G10 24 degree uh, golf club. Um, this right here, we got in an online auction a while back. It took a little while to sell, but I think we're in the green on that deal. This right here sold for $48 plus shipping. All right, so we actually just listed this last night, this uh, Star Trek action figure, Lieutenant Natasha. Um, this has some wear issues and we did disclose all that. 
from 1994. This right here is from the Jacksonville storage unit, sold for $10 plus shipping. From one of the 10 by 30 units last year, we have this vintage Thorson, made in USA, 3 8 ratchet, model 77JC. Again, you know, these, you know the tools I've been selling, you know, some of them sell really good, some of them don't sell for as much, and something sells for okay money, but I was willing to, you know, list them individually at least certain ones individually right um and yeah this little uh ratchet right here sold for 10 bucks plus shipping and then we have two pokemon cards they are the exact same this is a garlarian surfetched so it's almost like far-fetched but this is like newer v max cards uh two of these sold to the same buyer for a total of ten dollars free shipping and that is everything and <laughs> the rest of stuff's gonna be down in the garage as you guys can tell we've been we've been listing like crazy in, in in the banker boxes and stuff like that so um a lot more stuff is gonna be down in the garage all right guys so i went ahead and pulled this I don't remember where this is from. I think this is from a yard sale at some point. I think I paid like a dollar for it. It doesn't go for much, but the reasoning why I picked it up is because it is vintage and I've never seen anything like this, but it's a collapsible party tub. Um, this is whenever I was first getting into reselling. I thought, well, I think I've had this for about two years. Um, <laughs> so very surprised to see it sold, um, but very cool. Um, I think I paid like a dollar, I don't know. Sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. All right, this next item is a two-parter. And the first one's gonna be in G4. And let's see if we can find it. Yeah, here it is right here on the very bottom. But like I said, the person bought two and it's gonna be this little stunt turbo ski thing. And this is from one of the 10 by 30 units. And then the other one's gonna be right in here. And the reason why they're in separate toes is because they're different colors and that type of stuff. But yeah, somebody ended up buying two of these. These are from the 10 by 30 units. Sold for a total of $30 plus shipping all right so we have a dvd going out and we're looking for something specific and i don't know why i can't think of it because i just looked at it but we will find it and it's actually going to be right here stargate atlantis season four and of course it's got to be on the bottom stargate atlantis season four this is from one of the, uh from the jacksonville storage unit sold for five dollars plus shipping all right something that i've had listed for a long time but for some reason ebay took it off of ebay <laughs> and uh if you guys remember the storage unit i did january of 2022 or 2021 no it couldn't have been 2021 so it was january of last year um we found a patio glider a whole bunch of stuff some star wars things and we found this little lego set 6811 very small like look at it. it literally fits in the palm of my hand um but this is vintage 1997 no 1990 yeah 1990 so anyways we had this listed for like the longest time at least i thought we did but ebay apparently took it down for whatever reasoning uh relisted it about probably three weeks ago and it finally sold for a total of 135 dollars plus shipping all right right here c6 i think this is what sold yes if you guys remember all of those bean bears and we got a bunch of little plushies in there uh but this one finally sold i got this in the estate sale a while back we're already well 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 uh well in the green on that deal from the estate sale so this is pure profit disney themed park edition eeyore little safari looking guy Either way, sold for 10 bucks plus shipping. All right, right here in K2, we have this uh, Thundercats 8 loot bags. Uh, and believe it or not, this actually has some okay value. Um, this is from the Jacksonville storage units. Did not see anything on eBay. So they're kind of, I guess, rare in a sense. They're from 1985. Found them on Worth Point. They were going for about 15 to 25 bucks, somewhere around there. So I took a best offer for this thing right here for $20 plus shipping. All right, right here in N5. We got this Biota Botanicals, Advanced Herbal Care, yada, yada, yada. This is from Black Friday Deals. We got this for seven bucks a long time ago, and uh, it finally sold for 30 bucks plus shipping. All right, I had to pull this off the racks. This is from the Jacksonville storage unit. This Star Trek Romulan Warbird, I believe that's what sold from the Jacksonville unit. If you guys don't know, we're, uh, we've already tripled plus our money from the Jacksonville unit, and it's just a little over a month. I think I've already showed you guys those numbers um so this is pure profit man this right here sold for 50 bucks plus shipping and then something else from the racks i don't remember where exactly it's at so it might take me a minute to figure it out but i'm assuming it should be down here right yep there it is okay i see it in the back all right here it is right here also from the jacksonville storage unit we have this power play super joy I don't know, a little plug-in play game. <laughs> so, uh, from the Jacksonville unit, this thing right here ended up selling for $35 plus shipping. All right, right here in E2, 
And it's actually going to be this Elvis. Let's see if I can grab it. Yeah, so this is actually from the diecast car storage unit. Um, I've had this listed for a little bit. This Elvis drive-in little matchbox diecast thing. Pretty cool little piece, to be honest. Sold for 15 bucks plus shipping. All right, and then uh, I was actually getting fixing to say I might have to dig for it, but it's actually right here up front. Spooky Hollow, I don't know how to say this word, grotesque waxwork. Got this at that estate sale. Like I said, we only pay like three bucks a piece or, you know, some, some more, some less, but some of these are worth good money. Some of them aren't worth as much. But this one right here sold for 13 bucks plus shipping and it is all pure profit. And then something that I recently picked up at Black Friday deals, I think it was like a few weeks ago. Um, finally got around to listing it about two weeks ago or so. Uh, it's a set of three like complete guide to fasting, obesity code cookbook, and the obesity code. All written by the same guy named Jason. Um, page seven, sold for 25 bucks plus shipping. All right, and that's gonna be it. Um, and if you guys seen in my past videos, um, of how clear, or at least somewhat clear, my, my garage was. It's back to being crazy again. We literally picked up all this on Saturday. Then all of that is what we picked up from Mr. Tim. And we have a ton to list. Ton of stuff to list, man. Can't even take a day off. Um, me and my wife are going to, go be, uh, going to be going down to Universal um, Studios uh, at the end of May. So, um... Yeah, I got that going for me, so I'm just got to work as hard as I can until then because I need me a little four or five day vacation. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's going to be it. That's going to be everything going out. And yeah, nothing new. Just the same grind, different day, man. Uh, much love. I appreciate you guys sticking with me through all this time. And uh, you guys are truly a blessing in my life. And like I said, y'all inspire me to do this nonstop. Um, you know, remember, don't stop the hustle. Keep grinding. Um, the grind never stops. And, you know, just keep chugging along, man. <laughs> so uh, much love. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. We'll catch you guys next video. It's your boy, the Georgia Picker. Peace. I don't wanna wake up.